Hey guys, Problem 1701 here, and today we're going to talk about Doctor Who, the animations. And I've enjoyed Abominable's Abominable Snowman. I've watched the black and white version. I'm currently working through the color version of having watched the first four episodes. And I just want to talk about how lucky we are as Doctor Who fans to be getting these animations. Um, I mean, how many other TV properties get this kind of love and attention for episodes that are from the 60s. I mean, how fortunate are we to begin with that all the audio tracks survive of the 97 missing episodes? All of the audio tracks survive uh, because of fans recording them back in the day, most especially Graham Strong. And to be able to have those original audios and to pair them with new animation, it's just, it's fantastic. And to think how far we've come, especially with the Troughton era, from where we were just over a decade ago, say, say 2010. Think of what we, where we've come from since 2010. We have recovered uh, Enemy of the World completely and recovered most of Web of Fear. That's two Trouton stories right there that we can watch. Uh, one in full and one almost in full. And we've also animated the uh, Missing Web of Fear episode. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but I think... I think we're lucky as Doctor Who fans, because not only uh, have we gotten two Trouton stories back there, but of the 26 stories affected by missing episodes, of the original 50 in the 60s, 26 of them are affected by missing episodes. 13 of those have been completed with animation to one degree or another. 13, that's half. Half of the missing stories in 60s Doctor Who have been completed with animation. That's not even including Shada. We can watch Shada in uh, full form really now. So we have Shada now in an animated form so we can watch it completely through, which is fantastic. But we also have 60 stories. We have 13 of them that we can actually watch in a visual medium now besides just recons. And most of those are Troughton. Excuse me. 10 of those 13 stories are Troughton. So much more of Troughton we can watch now that we couldn't watch before. And I think that's fantastic, especially as someone who loves Troughton. He's one of my favorite doctors. And to be able to, to watch Evil of the Daleks and Power of the Daleks and the Macra Terra and the Abominable Snowman, that's just amazing. And who in 2010 would have thought that was possible? If I had come up to you and been like, man, I watched Power of the Daleks last night. You know what? I think I'm going to watch Evil of the Daleks tonight. How many of you would have been like, what kind of drugs is he on? <laughs> um, so it's really neat where we've come. Now, while we have half the stories, we don't have half the episodes yet. We have 44 episodes animated out of 97, if I've done my math right, which leaves 53 still to do. So there's still, we're still not halfway there on episodes to be animated. But still, 44 episodes animated that we didn't have before that we can watch now in at least an animated form. Uh, that's, that's incredible. And, you know, the fact that especially with a lot of the later animations, you can watch them in color, you can watch them in black and white. Uh, you can, they, have, they have the photo reconstructions, the telestat reconstructions if you do prefer that. You can watch all three and see which one you like better. It's, it's fascinating all the different ways you can watch these missing stories. But mostly, I just want to talk about how fortunate we are. Instead of, you know, with the, with the release of Abominable Snowmen, we know that this is supposed to be the last one we're getting for a while. Now, this might not be the last one we get forever, of course, because it's not the first time the animations have stopped. Uh, in 2006, they animated the, the Invasion, you know, episodes one and four. And that didn't sell as well as they wanted. And so they didn't do another one for a long time. So from about what, well, when did they do the next one? 2011, 2013, you know, they did Reign of Terror and then they did the 10th Planet and then they did the phenomenal moon base animation. And then after that, they stopped. I mean, originally Underwater Menace was supposed to be animated and that got scrapped and we got the crappy recon one that I refuse to watch, but I've heard about. And then a couple years later, we got uh, Power of the Dallas, and we've had a nice run since then. 
Uh, but yeah, the funding has dried up, and we're looks like we're on another hiatus from the animations. But I firmly believe eventually we will get more. I don't know when, probably a few years, but eventually I think they'll start back up again. Uh, again, it's not the first time they've gone on hiatus for a bit. It was a pretty substantial gap between Invasion and Reign of Terror. Of course, we also had the Ice Warriors back in that run with Reign of Terror as well. So, I do think it'll happen again. I don't think this is the end. And I think instead of focusing on the negative of the animations being done for now and being upset about that, instead, we should focus on the positive, which is the fact that 13 stories that were not animated, 14 if you include Shada, have been animated, which is half of the 60s missing stories, 13 out of 26, half! You know, we can watch Galaxy 4 now. That's awesome. And I liked Galaxy 4, by the way. For the most part, there was a couple things I didn't like, but I liked Galaxy 4. And to see so much of Troughton's work complete now. Between the recovery of the missing stories and the animations, there's so much more Troughton we can watch now. And I, as a Doctor Who fan, am thrilled and happy. 2022 is a great time to be a classic Doctor Who fan. It's a great time to be a Doctor Who fan. This is it's especially a great time to be a classic Doctor Who fan because we have had so many animations in the recent years along with the collection range box sets. Um, it's definitely, if you love classic Who, it's a good time to be a classic Doctor Who fan. Um, it, it, you've never been able... Troughton's era has never been as accessible as it is now, and that is just fantastic as a Doctor Who fan to see, especially as someone who loves the second Doctor. So I think instead of being negative about it, and being unhappy and bemoaning the fact the animations are done for now. I think we should show how our fan base can be a positive uh, fan base, how we can be an optimistic fan base, and instead take the time to celebrate the stories we have gotten, to be grateful for everything we have gotten in the past decade uh, with the animations and the recoveries and so much more 60s Doctor Who we we can watch now that we couldn't watch. It is a great time to be a Doctor Who fan, and I'm looking forward to when the animations do start up again. I'm looking forward to the season two box set. I'm looking forward to seeing more classic series box sets from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. I'm very, very excited to be a Doctor Who fan right now. So I'd like to know what you think and your thoughts on the animation. So comment down below and let me know because it's always nice to hear from you guys. Other things to do, go ahead and click the like button and the subscribe button. That helps me out and I certainly appreciate it. I also have a Patreon if you like what I do and would like to support what I do. There's a link to that down in the description below. I want to give a shout out to two of my top tier patrons, The Fifth Doctor and Stephen Crane. I appreciate their continued support just as I do the support of all of my patrons. And a special thank you to all of my subscribers as well. We're over 800 now and I appreciate all of you. I'm very grateful. I also have a P.O. Box if there's anything you would like to send me to look at and review. There's a link, well I shouldn't say a link, the actual address is down in the description below. As is a link to my Amazon wish list. Most importantly, thank you for watching.